Hey guys, how's it going? Sai here. Uh, just thought I'd bring you a few basic tips and tricks on how to better your odds at winning in a BG, whether it be random or rated. Actually, if you're going into rated, I hope you already know most of these and are performing these, because otherwise you're really probably doing bad. <laughs> so anyway, these are just some tips that you can help to improve your gameplay or help friends. Uh, I see many people making these mistakes in BGs, and it's quite infuriating, to be honest. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with the list. Anyway, tip number one comes in the form of map awareness. Being aware of your surroundings when you're in any given BG and knowing the layout is very important. Uh, knowing when to go to places, your fastest routes to go there. Also, what's going on on the map. Uh, now, this could be as simple as you opening up your map and seeing what's going on. Some of them, like the uh, Silver Shard Mines, you can see who controls what cart. Uh, Warsong Gulch and Twin Peaks and also Eye of the Storm you can see what towers or flags are being held by who and where they are on the map so simply just opening up your map can change the game dr drastically you know you can be more aware of what's going on where you need to be to help out your team now also map awareness comes in the form of communicating with your team if there's something going on like the opposing faction is approaching your location and you're guarding a base and you are the only one standing there shout it out tell your team hey for incoming X location that will most of the time let people know that you need reinforcements at that place and nine times out of ten people will drop what they're doing if there's nothing important going on where they are and get to you so really really look into map awareness learn your maps and uh, be sure to communicate your map perception to people as you need so the next tip here is pretty basic it's not getting over greedy I see all the time that new players or just people who think they're Billy badasses want to completely control a map just make the other team completely cry and feel helpless I see it all the time in Eye of the Storm and uh, Arathi Basin people want to four cap towers and control the mid or five cap Arathi Basin and push them all the way back and nine times out of ten this leads to a loss you though though uh, <clears throat> sorry they'll gather a group together and they'll, they'll make them believe hey let's go take this location and those few gullible little noobs will follow them they're like okay we have three bases we are doing good we're not completely dominating but we're holding them off let's go for a fourth and they'll drag two or three people off that weakens your forces at your other three locations nine times out of ten those three people will go off get slaughtered another base will get taken and you'll go from having three bases to two bases then people flounder about trying to figure out what base they need to take to get back up to three and it just ends in just a cluttered mess of people running around so please do not get overly greedy three capping in Arathi Basin is perfectly fine two towers in Eye of the Storm and controlling mid is great don't get over greedy unless your team is thoroughly thoroughly stomping people I mean you win every team fight your groups walked up to by and you've only lost like one maybe two people you're thoroughly winning so please please stop being greedy <laughs> all right so this next tip falls under two categories I guess it's teamwork and objectives now the team that plays better together and actually structures a strategy and follows it rather than falling apart into small sections you know three or four groups that want to do their own thing if you form a, a full team you know everyone tries to work as a team they usually come out on top and they do that by playing the objectives I don't know how many games where I've seen one team completely slaughter the other in kills and just 
make them look bad, but that team also lost because they decided to just fight instead of playing on objectives. Now, what do I mean by playing the objective? All right, say for instance, you're in Arathi Basin. Now, there's five objectives. There's flags in these objectives. You get the flag, you control the flag, you get points. So, do not be fighting in the roads where nothing is important happening there. Now, I understand if you're trekking to a location, you get jumped. But if you can get away and get to a location, that's better than you holding up and fighting right there. Because all you're doing is being useless to the team, not coming and helping at a location that needs it. So no fighting in roads. Fight on flags. If you're on a flag, be sure to AoE. So many times I see three or four people fighting and they get baited just, just 10 feet away from the flag just enough that their camera no longer sees it and like a rogue or someone coming from the opposite direction walks up grabs the flag out from underneath them always keep an eye on the flag always be fighting on top of the flag especially in groups because then you can AOE and prevent them from capping it so please play objectives this also goes into if you're the last one standing at an objective say lumber mill don't leave it Please, for the love of God, don't leave it. I know it's so much more fun to go down and smash some people's faces in, but please stay there. It helps more. I do it all the time. It's very important because all it takes is one person walking up, taking that flag, that location's gone, when you simply could have stood there and guarded it. And I promise, eventually a group is going to come up and try to take it. If they can't take the other locations, they're going to switch to another one. And it's most likely going to be one of the ones you're at. So if you're sitting there guarding it and you see a team coming up, you can communicate, hey, five incoming such and such location, reinforcements will come and you will see your 15 minutes of fame right there. Because you will you will have called the reinforcements got the fight going and if you held it off it's all because you were there you were calling shots you are the one who's the MVP of the group not the guy running off at zero locations getting 20 some odd kills 115 million DPS by fighting in a road wherever everyone is you're the MVP because you held a location and you kept them from getting the points and kept your team getting points so please play objectives otherwise go in arenas you can smash each other's faces all day alright and for this tip it's all about the healers literally in a BG the team that is able to keep their healers alive and murder the other team's healers are probably gonna win the healers are the backbone of your squad they're keeping you alive keeping your carries alive they are making your life so much better also making the other teams life so much better so focus them if you see them jump them focus down healers as fast as possible work on CCing them you have silences stuns and so forth use them correctly if you see somebody else in their stunning hold off on yours don't stack them together maybe wait for the stuns to go off then you can use your silences and your um, kicks that way you're going to ensure the most downtime on a healers casts and hopefully by that time you have you the rogue and someone else or whoever else locks them down and helps you can down that healer and that will make your life so much better also peel for your healers if you see two or three people chasing down one of your healers, don't be afraid to run up behind, stun one of them, slow another. Uh, in the case of us rep paladins, we can actually give like blessing and protection to our healer. If you see two warriors just jump onto a healer, blessing and protection. They're going to get eight seconds of freedom, be able to get themselves back up, keep the team up, and then you can spend your time uh, stunning and see, see, this guy is on my target dummy. <laughs> Anyway, so healers are the backbone. Please respect your healers and kill the healers. 
So anyway, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed these tips and tricks. I know they're pretty basic, you know, standard, you should know when you walk in. But I see so many people failing to uh, adhere to these simple rules. So many people fail to follow them. And a lot of times I see this being the downfall of a BG that could have easily been won. You know, easily the superior team stomping people, but then they just fail to follow these objectives and they lose and then all they want to do is blame others for it so anyway hopefully this help you guys out and hopefully if you know anyone who is doing this you can direct them to this anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it I'll catch you in the next one later